Ciao, homie. What's up, strongest men, women, and children from blocks all around the world? I am my block's strongest man, and today we're going to continue our analysis of past performances of all the 2022 World's Strongest Man athletes and how they did at the events they're going to encounter at 2022 World's Strongest Man. Today we're going to talk about the grip event. From what we hear, it's a Hercules hold type event with wrecking balls on each end of the hold. So let's take a look at how those athletes have done in the last three plus years, three to four years in terms of Hercules hold type events. So by now you're used to my block strongest algorithm and how we figure out using points earned out of points possible, the success rate of these athletes in these type events in their past couple of years. So let's have a look at where they rank sorted from best to worst. Of course, at the top of the list, near the top of almost any list of almost any event that you're going to do analysis on is Martins Leetzies with a ranking of 87.75, a great rating for him. He did Hercules hold at 2018 Festival de Homme and at the Giants Live Wembley in 2019, doing very well in both of them, winning in the former and coming in second place in the latter. Mark Felix uh, with a ranking of 87.12, most considered the best Hercules holder in the world. There was one that he didn't win very recently, but you see lots of hundreds here for him. So if you were to pick a winner, although Martins edges him out slightly um, percentage-wise, most people would pick Mark Felix as the winner because he has done it over a larger body of contest here, as you can see. In the 2020 Europe Strongest Man, he won that one. He won the 2019 Europe's. He won the 2019 Giants Live Wembley, 2019 uh, World Tour Finals, Arnold UK. The only one he didn't win was the Strongman Classic. So uh, Mark Felix near the top of the list. Evan Singleton, also very high on the list, 85.93 ranking for Evan. Uh, he did the Hercules hold at the 2021 Arnold UK and the Giants Live Strongman Classic, uh, ranking just at the very, very top of the list both times, very close to it. You then have Maxime Boudreau with an 82.5 ranking for him. He did this event at 2018 Festival de Homme and 2017 Arnold Series Qualifier, doing very well in both of those. Mika Toro ranks 80.7 in Hercules hold. Uh, he did it at the Amatra Strongman Showdown in 2021 last year. And then at uh, SCL Norway 2020-2019 and World Record Breakers in 2022 this year, the one that just finished, he actually won this event. Trey Mitchell is next up on our list with a 66.5 rating. He did this event at the 2021 Arnold UK last year, 70 out of a possible 100, a great score there. And of course, that gets equilibrated for, um, for it being a world qualifier, just a half step down from the very top world level, and that's why he's at a 66.50. Brian Shaw next on the list, 66.25 rating for Brian. So he's done Hercules hold at 2018 Festival de Homme and 2020 World's Strongest Man, where he didn't do quite as well there. Konstantin Janasha is next on the list with a 59.49 rating. He did Hercules at 2019 Europe's Strongest Man and the 2021 Siberian Power Show, which was his comeback year after the injury, doing exceptionally well there with Hercules hold. You then have Kelvin DeReuter with a 59.19 rating for him. And uh, Kelvin did the Hercules hold at 2020 uh, SEL Norway and the World Record Breakers for SEL this year, the ones that just completed, doing fairly well on both of them. Next on our list is Alexei Novikov, the 2020 World's Strongest Man with a 56.73 rating. He did Hercules hold at 2020 World's Strongest Man, doing very well there. Then at the Arnold UK in 2021, doing slightly less well there. And at the 2021 Giants Live Strongman Classic, where he struggled the most of those three shows. Gabriel Rayom has the 56.47 rating. So he actually did really exceptionally well at Canada's Strongest Man, but it's a national level show. So we'd have to, uh, we add in the multiplier to bring him down all the way to 56.47 because it wasn't international or world qualifier or world level. So we'll see how he's able to compete against 29 of the other best athletes in the world in this particular event. Gab Bilton with a 55.91 rating on Hercules Hold. He did it at 2020 Europe's Strongest Man and the last year's Giants Live Strongman Classic, the uh, the show that was very famous for the return of Big Laws, the momentary return of Big Laws that uh, got us all excited. Ivar Schmockstellis rates 50.22 in this event, so he did Hercules Hold in uh, the 2020 SCL Norway and this year's SCL World Record Breakers that happened very, very recently. 
You then have, uh, he actually did it at the World's Strongest Man 2020 as well, did not do very well there, and did it at the Strongman Classic in 2021, doing better there. Pavlo Kordiaka next on the list, so his rating is 48. He did Hercules Hold at the Marjan Pole 2021. And then you have Rob Kearney, so Rob did the Hercules Hold at Giants Live Wembley in 2019, his rating 47.5. Adam Bishop's next on the list, his rating 37.6, and Adam Bishop did Hercules Hold at 2020 Europe's and 2019 Europe's, um, kind of mid-pack to a little bit better than mid-pack in both of those. And then at World's Strongest Man 2020, he was lower than mid-pack, and Giants Live, Wembley, World Tour Finals, and the Strongman Classic, uh, two of those in 2019 and one of those in 2021, um, lower, lower pack for him there, so that kind of averages them out to 37.6. Luke Stoltman, the Highland Oak, uh, did Hercules Hold at 2019 Europe's Strongest Man, 2016 World's Strongest Man, 2019 Giants Live Wembley, World Tour Finals, uh, Arnold UK last year, Giants Live Strongman Classic last year. Luke has competed quite a lot, especially last year, and his rating 36.85 for Hercules Hold type events. And Kim Uyarik rates 35, so he did Hercules Hold at the Burn Showdown 2018, the show where he famously met Big Laws for the first time before Big Laws, about two years later, became his coach. So Kim Uyarik with a 35 rating there. Nedzman Ambeskovic with a 28.5 rating. He did this in the Arnold UK 2021 last year, and uh, a 30 score, so a lower end score for him, a lower third. Pao Dwyer with an 18.1 rating, so not a good event for him. He did Hercules Hold at 2020 Europe's Strongest Man, uh, sort of lower third performer there, and did it at the 2021 Arnold UK and Strongman Classic, not performing very well in either of those. Tom Stoltman, who is good in almost anything else, not renowned for his Hercules Hold strength, or Hercules Hold performances, I should say, a 13.66 rating overall out of 100 points for him. He did uh, 11.11 at 2019 Europe's, 2020 World's Strongest Man, a 20 rating there. Giants Live Wembley in 2019, along with the World Tour Finals, low scores there as well. 2021 Arnold UK, a low score there. Uh, Strongman Classic last year, a low score there. So consistently not really a great event for Tom Stoltman when compared to his uh, fellow athletes. Athor Melstead rates 12.86 in this, so he did the Hercules Hold in 2019 SCL Norway. And that's all the data I have for the World's Strongest Man competitors in 2022 on how they've performed in the last three to four years in Hercules Hold type events to give you a better idea and give you the ammunition in your mind that you need to start developing what groups might look like at 2022 World's Strongest Man and who you think might do well in this event and eventually make it through to the finals. Thanks again for joining me at My Block Strongest Man, where you get all the most detailed data and uh, research to form your opinions on predictions and results. And of course, until next time, as always, ciao, homie.